What's up guys, welcome to the video. We're in the kitchen and we're going to be making chicken wings. Relatively simple, no problem. So we're just going to show you a very basic recipe, what we use. Chicken wings are great if you want them as a meal or if you want to bag them up separately and have them as snacks while you're on keto. Generally, if you're using your carb allowance for sauces and things like that, like I do, then you don't really have to worry too much about the carbs that you're adding to it. So let's get started. We're going to do a one batch of wings, a nice recipe, and then we're going to do a secret little batch, and we're going to try and get them as hot as possible with the things we've got, and let Justin have a taste test. Should be fun. Stay tuned. Right, so we've got our two pans here. We're going to use our oven is already preheating at 200 degrees, the fan assisted oven. We we'll use this big one for the main batch, and this red one for the deadly batch. So the first thing we need to get is our actual wings. Most supermarkets do these relatively cheap. I've got these ones from Aldi, they're 159 and you get them right away. What I tend to do, take them out of there. I want to tip it because it's got quite a lot of the uh, blood in there because these have uh, been frozen and then defrosted. You can do your wing like that as it is, but what I tend to do is we'll push them off, that's a clean surface, so we're alright. Is we take our wing here, we feel out for our joint with a knife, good sharp strong knife, and we're just going to cut it off. You end with a drum bone wing, and we've got the wing tip here, the same thing. Sometimes if it feels a bit too tough, you can move it slightly, and then you'll hit a weaker part. Of it. So we end up with a drum, a flat, and a wing tip. And the wing tips are great as well for snacks. So we're just going to cut all of these up like that. Right, so all our wings are cut up here. That's all our wings cut up. We're going to just take the majority of them, pop them in here for our big batch. Evenly spread, doesn't matter if some touch, but a bit of space is great. Got all the wing tips in there as well, like the wing tips. Doesn't matter if it's We're just going to throw them in there for now because it, I was just thinking they don't need to be evenly spaced because we've still got the sauce in. We're going to take our, some of our rest and we're just going to pop them in here for our other batch. four each in there for that other batch, the rest can go in here. So first we'll do our nice normal recipe. Don't forget you're handling raw chicken, so when you've handled it, make sure you're washing your hands in between each time before you start touching your condiments. So what we're going to do first is we're going to coat this with a light spray oil, and it's the olive oil cooking spray, and we're just going to get a nice coat over that whole thing, move them around each time. bit more oil in there. There we go. That should give it that nice crisp as it cooks up. That slight oil coating on it. Okay. Onto that we are going to put a nice generous portion of our mixed herbs. And we're going to coat these in our red hot buffalo wing sauce. Now this isn't red hot on its own, I can tell you. I had it quite generously. Um, it's, it's more of a mild heat definitely. So that's on there. Again, just giving them a mix round. Getting a bit of sauce on all of them. It'll all come out in the wash. We don't need loads of sauce on these in each one because when they cook up it's mostly going to cook off and it's just going to leave that little sear taste on there. So once we've done that we're just spreading them out a bit so they can cook evenly. We'll finish that off with a grinding of salt over the 
super simple, nice and easy, they're ready to go in the oven. Let's start the next batch. Now, I'm not into my hot stuff, so this is probably going to do me as much harm as it is here. We'll start with a dusting of peri peri seasoning. That's got chilli flakes in, that's hot enough as it is to start with. But, for good measure, we're going to add some extra chilli flakes over that. Not forgetting our oil, but we have chilli oil. Same buffalo wing sauce as before. Coating each one a bit. We are going to mix these round so it doesn't matter too much about the coverage. And we'll add on top of that some Frank's Red Hot. Or a lot of Frank's Red Hot as it were. We'll finish that off with some salt again, but this time chilli and garlic salt. Just gonna mix them around a bit. Get a bit of everything kind of everything. And that's our fiery treat for Justin. So we're gonna pop them in that oven that's at 200 degrees. It's gonna be about 20 minutes till they're cooked, up to 30 minutes depending on how you like. That's our batch of chicken wings done that we're gonna pack it up and have as snacks. And our fiery challenge chicken wings are done. So we'll get these plated up and I'll see you in the dining room. Alright guys, we're here to taste the uh, chilli chicken wings. Which Justin looking a bit nervous about. This is my own remedy of uh, deathly chilli sauce that you saw me applying to this and making up. That's just the excess left over. So we'll dip in if you want some extra. What are you thinking? I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. No, probably not. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. How strong is your heart? <laughs> I don't know. Stronger than mine. Right, so, three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, wow. it's afterwards. Well, you saw what I put into them and not phased. It's about half the juice was. Mm. That wasn't part of the challenge, I just want to see if you're stupid enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly the, the problem was I hadn't put enough sauce on it. I mean not enough. <laughs> oh, it's not recording, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!